Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Stuart's Kitchen. So, what we're going to cook today is everybody's favourite pizza. So, look, I was just in Woolworths this afternoon, you know, wondering what I could prepare for the wife and for the child. I grabbed these pizza bases. Um, look, you can get the gluten free ones if you want, but I tend not to. Also, I was up the street, you know, instead of making tomato sauce for your pizza base, I just grabbed this tomato, what is it, passiata crushed tomatoes. It's as good as it's, look, it's for home, you know, you don't have to go in and make up a big tomato sauce for your pizza. Also, Woolies, I grabbed some Hungarian mild salami. Oh, um, look, I prefer the chili ones, but um, because I've got a four year old child, I get the mild one. And of course, mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese is a must on pizzas. Don't go for your tasty cheddars, don't go for your different other ones. Pizza is mozzarella cheese, okay? So, this is easy. We take our tomato sauce. Put it around the base. Make sure you get pretty close to the edges, but you don't want to go over the edges. Okay, that looks pretty good if you ask me. Okay, now, the secret with pizza, the secret with pizza, is not to put too much topping on. You know, you might go to a friend's house and stuff, and they're putting meat, they put capsicum, they put mushrooms, they put olives, uh, onions, fresh tomato. No, keep it easy, give it simple. I normally take one or two ingredients and that's it, okay? So, if we come back down, as you can see, we must put one layer of mozzarella cheese on first, okay? Look, get the closest to the edge as possible, yeah? Because you all want a nice crispy edge that's full of cheese. Not too much, you know. You know, it's probably a little bit, you know, I could say, I could use less here, really. Probably overdone a little bit. That's okay. Okay, now let's have a look at our salami. Like I said before, you know, I use the Hungarian. It's a milder, it's milder in taste. Uh, that's mainly because I have a four-year-old son who loves pizza. Okay. Nice and generous. Okay, that's all it is. Okay. Now a little bit more pizza, uh, sorry, cheddar, oh, what did I say? Mozzarella cheese over the top. Not too much. I, you can really overdo it with the cheese, you can overdo it with the ingredients. Okay, make sure that we have everything covered. Nice and close to the border of your pizza base, yeah? And now, I'm going to whack that in the oven, 180, 200 degrees Celsius, 10 minutes, or when the cheese is nice and golden brown, it's ready to eat. Okay, cut. So, welcome back. Look, it's been 10 minutes. Pizza's been in the oven, it's looking nice and golden brown. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Looks like a bit of cheese has stuck the the paper down a little bit. That's no problem. You know, I only use greaseproof paper because it saves on the cleaning up a little bit. So. 
So here we have it. So, your pizza is only ever going to be as good as the ingredients you use. Um, you know, normally I go up to a little greengrocer up the road who's got the best mozzarella cheese, okay? And I can really see the difference now. You know, she has quality good uh, parmesan cheese that she grates herself. Today I've just used ones that I've used at Woolworths. Look, I can see the difference in the quality already. Look, let me tell you, it's worth spending those extra couple of bucks on a good quality cheese, especially mozzarella. Makes a world of difference to your, to the end, to the end quality. So here we have it. Pizza for the family. You know that what took me two minutes to make? Took ten minutes in the oven. And we're all sitting down to have a little bit of pizza. Oops. I guess that's one mine because I flipped that one over. Couple pieces for my wife. And in the meantime, when we sit down, I'm just going to do another pizza base. So whoever's hungry after that, we can go back and get a little bit more. So I hope you enjoy. Watch out for that spoon. I hope you enjoyed how you're cooking pizza at home with Stuart today and I'll see you for my next video and I think we'll be making pasta carbonara. I didn't say spaghetti carbonara because I prefer to have like penne carbonara or seashells or something. Yeah, so stay tuned and we'll look at that next week. See you soon.